the once in a 160,000 years, Comet G3 Atlas, might be as bright as Venus next week. Given that it had survived a previous close encounter with the Sun, there was hope that this comet would survive its upcoming close brush and perhaps put on a spectacular show after the new year. Comet 2024 G3 Atlas, one of the brightest comets in the last 20 years, is making a close approach to the Sun. The Oort Cloud, a sphere of comets orbiting the solar system, is the source of C2024 G3, which was discovered on April 5, 2024, by the ATLAS Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Network of Telescopes. In the upcoming mornings, Comet Atlas brightness will be a good match for Mercury's magnitude minus 0.3. The comet will appear as a bright, fuzzy dot with a short tail approximately 7 to its lower left east if you can see the planet through binoculars. Some of us thought it might reach the high minus magnitudes after a recent outburst. Since then, the flurry of activity has subsided, and the comet is once again rising in brightness, as it gets closer to perihelion on January 13th, it will pass within 8.3 million miles of the Sun on that date. Prepare to put in a lot of work if you want to see Comet Atlas G3, and you live in the Northern Hemisphere. Comet Atlas swiftly separates from the Sun after perihelion as it swings into the evening sky. Once again, preference is given to observers in the Southern Hemisphere. The comet is predicted to fade rather quickly, but when its solar elongation reaches 11 on January 16th, it might be visible again. It should pull itself out of the twilight glow a few days later and rise high enough to be within easy binocular range. It will fade further and enter a dark sky after that. From roughly January 15th to 18th, some sky watchers in the northern hemisphere may be able to see it very low in the southwestern sky. Viewing Comet C 2020 for G3, Look for the Scorpio constellation just before sunrise in December, which is located above the eastern horizon. To see the comet, use binoculars or a telescope. At the moment, C2024 G3 is so faint and appears so near the sun that it would be very challenging to see with the unaided eye. The constellation Capricornus is located above the western horizon in January, and observers in the southern hemisphere should look for it soon after sunset. Depending on your location and eye condition, you may not be able to see the comet with the naked eye. In any case, the best views of the stars will be obtained from a darker area. As the comet gets closer to the sun, we'll keep you informed with the most recent observations and predictions.